Yo, know, the people in today you'll be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Legacy Deluxe Class Prime Universe Knockout. So, before we take a look at the figure itself, let's take a look at the packaging. It's your standal, standard old packaging, vehicle mode art, character mode art, up close and on a more further distance. The Decepticon packaging, or at least the box art. And you can see some product shots and it's for this QR code, which um, I'll scan, I'll be right back. Okay, so, taking a look at the bio here, you can see the render of the character with li weird lighting effect and being accurate to some degree. He's a Decepticon, his alt mode is a sports car, he's a medic, he's from the Prime Universe. He uses a battle spear, which produces electrical currents, which are used to shock enemies at a closer range. He knock out a select talker, who chooses a vehicle mode to match, Although, and although he's a medic, he prefers to take bots apart and then fix them. That is actually pretty morbid, to be honest. 7 in strength, 10 in intelligence, 9 in speed, and 7 in firepower. Be right back. So, taking a look at the figure itself, the painting and sculpting is actually pretty good. So, you can tell that this is supposed to be a re, a re shell of the 86 Jazz mold. Like on the car parts being way more different, though um, there is a lot of other differences, like on the shoulders and on the feet, which um, I'll show. Be right back. Okay, so bringing in 80, 86 Jazz in here for the comparisons. Yeah, I forgot to mention that the entire the entire lower body section has been remolded, with the exception of the crotch of the crotch piece. Yeah, it's just the red. It's just the the this crotch piece painted red. Without any any sort of detailing, yeah. Anyways, so you can see that the thighs are different. This one has more angled, has more of an angled like appearance. This one has more of a striped like appearance, as you can see right here. As for the legs, well, they added more security to the legs because, um, yeah, I'm confused why as well. This it was never broken in here. They didn't really have to do that. Um, yeah, it's. I'm still kind of confused by their decisions. The arms are also different. As you can see right here, it's pretty obvious. And you can also tell by the sides. And the feet are, are obviously different. This one's more pointier. This one's more squared. And it's obvious. And it's a given that the head sculpts are different. This one has more has more opposability. This one barely has any. Sacrifice posability for a for a more different head sculpt. Um, yeah. And they and this one covers the gaps that were on the on this figure. I didn't really mind that, but I still find it pretty cool how this transforms. Anyways, differences aside, yeah, there's a lot of differences with him in the 86 Jazz mold. And taking a look at that head sculpt, you can not really make out any sort of any sort of detailing in there, considering it's painted white. I'm still confused by that, and you can tell it's supposed to be knockout, though it somewhat comes off as feminine to me, personally. Anyways, he comes with only two accessories, that being his his gun and this spike piece. So the gun is is sculpted out of a is cast out of a gray plastic, which looks similar to silver. Ack. And you can just plug this onto his hand, like that, or you can just do this, like it, like for the when he's holding the trident. You can also place this on his back, like this, or like this. Yeah, he has weapon storage, which, like I always say, hooray for the weapon storage. I don't think I've ever said that at, at all. Anyways. As for the spike piece, it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting. The painting and sculpting is pretty good. I like how they made the metal prong. Uh, uh, I like how they painted that blue, or at least the metallic blue. It just stands out from the other two prongs. And you can either place this on his wrist as some sort of shield. It is sort of useless considering it only covers his arm. Or you could use that as a sigh of some sorts. I don't know. And like the gun, you can place it on his back. Or, you could combine the two to form his trident. So, placing this like that. And, um, I should tell you this, but, um, uh, I should tell you this. You can see there's this tab, or at least this 
yeah, it's pretty much a tab at this point. And you can see how there, this is only, this only goes on one direction. You're supposed to make sure it goes in this direction. And, um, plugging it in, make sure you can hear a clicking noise when you plug it in. Like that. Or at least a soft one. Anyways, and there you have it. Honestly, I like the painting of sculpting. It's pretty good. And, it, like the, like the other two weapons, it stores on the back. Weapon storage. Anyways, moving on to my problems. Um, there is not really any problems, aside from how they just fixed some of the things that were not really broken in the first place. I mean, I guess this does count as something broken. But, um, it still didn't really affect the transformation. Anyways, and then I, there is nothing else to say. I have no, not really any problems with it. Though they did, though I'm pretty sure they did remove the yellowing plastic that it had on the original figure. Because, um, yeah, there's some yellowing plastic on the figure. I did say that in my review on him, which I did do a year ago. Anyways, moving on to visibility now, shall we? He has a ball joint at the head. He can't really look up, and he can't really look down. He can do a full 360 at the arms, and um, he, his, his arms can wiggle due to the transformation. They can spread out that far. He has a forearm swivel, a 90 degree elbow bend. He can do this rotation due to his transformation. And waist swivel, basically most of it is from is like the 86 jazz. Thigh swivel, he can kick that far and back that far. He can do it over, he can, he has a double hinge, which just makes it, makes his leg do a far greater range. And an ankle pivot and a toe rotation. So yeah, this figure's possibility is like, is like 86 jazz, but some of it gets restricted, like on the, like on the wiggling on this, as you can see right here. This one has a bit more wiggling, this one does not. And the, and the head is just restricted as well. So, moving on to the size comparisons now, shall we? We have him here next to 86 Jazz. As you can see right there, he does seem a bit taller due to the chest. We have him here next to Cyberverse Starscream. I did this because I think I feel like the Cyberverse designs could fit well with Prime characters. I'm not sure why. We have him career next to Earthrise Starscream. As you can get see right there. Here we have him career next to Battle Class Shockwave. The Piggy Duel. Right there. And here we have him career next to the rest of the Prime Prime Universe figures. From this line. And there you go. And, um, be right back, because I need water. Okay, so the transformation is just like the 86 Jazz, except it, um, doesn't really have any sort of changes. Well, if it does, it's mostly on the, on the lower body and the backpack. So, um, I'll just skip this, considering I've already transformed to this figure, and reviewed it. So, um, be right back. Okay, so the difference is, is you're gonna have to pull this up, you're gonna have to pull this out slightly, so it so it gets out of its out of the secure tab, and you just rotate it around, and basically oh frick, I forgot to mention this, but um you're supposed to do the feet first, considering it gets more difficult to do this. So basically you're gonna have to angle them slightly, and um do that. Yeah, that's mostly due to how the the tabs are big. Why did they do that? And there you go. Make sure it's on level with the wheels over here. You rotate these out and fold out this back section and you just sort of flex it. Yeah, I hate that step. And then you just do some tabbing in and um, you do this and you do the same steps on the other side. And here we have them in this car mode. And here we have him in his car mode. And the resulting color mode is actually really good. The painting of sculpting is just 
Good. You can tell that this, you can't really tell this is supposed to be a re, a reshell of the 86 Jazz Mold. And I forgot to mention this, but um, he doesn't have the spoiler, which results in him being, uh, being sort of top heavy. He just falls down sometimes. And you can, I like how the, you can see the racing stripes, they just do a fade into just the dark red. And the thing about the stripes, they're printed on, meaning you can't really get them out. So, um, good luck if you're trying to, if you're trying to customize them. And it's pretty good, to be honest. And you can see the front. Yeah, this is just, this just looks really accurate to the Prime, to the Prime Designs car mode. Except that it is a, a bit angular, but hey, I can't complain about that. Anyways, you can see how, you can see the wheels. They're, the rims are painted, are painted out of a, of a mustardy yellow. As you can see right here. And they do reuse the 86 Jazz wheels, which I honestly find pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. It rolls fairly well, and you can see how he doesn't really have that much kibble on the back, due to how small the feet is. Pretty cool. And it doesn't really seem visible on on the side, on this sort of angle, which honestly I find pretty cool. You can see some ports over here, as well as on top, which you can store the weapons on. You can throw the gun over here, and the spike piece over here. There you go. So, let's move on to size comparisons now, shall we? Here we are right next to the Piggy Duo. As um, you can see right there. Here we are right next to the uh, Class Shockwave. As you can see right there. You can't balance. And here I am here next to this Happy Meal, this Happy Meal knockout. Um, as you can see right there. And here we are here next to, right there is Starscream. Here I am here next to 86 Jazz. And here we am here I'm here next to the rest of the Prime figures. And honestly, RC stands out with how big she is. So there you go. And um, just so for a quick comparison, I forgot to mention this, but um, yeah, you can clearly tell they look different. But aside from the leg kibble, there is absolutely no differences. Yeah, pretty cool. So overall, my final thoughts on this figure is that he's great. I love the vehicle mode and I love the robot mode. But is he better than, but is he as great as 86 Jazz? Real answer is no. He's actually, he's sort of, somewhat of a downgrade, but he's not entirely bad. Um, yeah. It's only how they fixed some of the things that were never broken in the first place. Um, and they made the back transformation just flat out diff more difficult to do. Um, yeah. So, this is basically it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.